In this video, we'll be looking at how to solve limit involving trig function. But firstly, we have to memorize the following constant. 1. If the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x, this will give me 0. Number 2, if you have a limit where x is approaching 0 of cos x, this thing is same thing as 0 as well. But if you have a limit x approaches 0 sine x divided by x this is same thing as this thing will give you 1 then fourth one if you have a limit as x approaches 0 exponential x minus 1 divided by x this thing is same thing as 1 consider this example the limit as x approaches 0 exponential x minus exponential minus x divided by x To solve this, we have to make some assumption. Remember that we have that x e exponential x minus 1 divided by x. This will give me 1. Right? So what if we now decide to substitute x to be equal to minus x in this expression, this equation 1. Then I have exponential minus x minus 1 divided by minus x. Then this will be my equation 2. We can decide to simplify this equation 2 further. And to do that, we can multiply both the denominator and numerator by minus 1. Then I have minus 1, and this is minus 1, multiplied by this. If I multiply this by minus 1, it will give me minus into exponential minus x minus 1 divided by minus 1 multiplied by minus x will give me x. And this is equal to minus x exponential minus x plus 1 divided by x and we can rewrite this to be 1 minus exponential minus x divided by x so this is our transformed equation 2 if we decide to sum up equation 1 and 2 we have Equation 1 is exponential x minus 1 divided by x. And now we've gotten our equation 2 to be 1 minus exponential minus x divided by x. Our LCM is x and this will give me exponential x minus 1 plus 1 minus exponential minus x and minus 1 and 1 will go so i'm left with exponential x minus exponential minus x divided by x we've seen that if we sum equation 1 and equation 2 it will give us the original equation which we are asked to find the original question we are asked to find now since 
we've already known that equation one is this and equation two is this and the addition of these two equations will give us the original question we asked to find therefore to solve this now we can say that exponential x minus one divided by x plus one minus exponential x divided by x we already know that this is one and this one is one and this will give me two and this is our final answer consider this example too you have limit as x tends to zero sine three x divided by x To solve this, we have to make an assumption as well. Multiply both sides by 3. So, and this will give me 3 limits. x tends to 0 sine x divided by 3 by this will give me 3x is equal to 3 limits sine 3x divided by 3x or we can convert the limit to 3x approaches 0 but we've known that the limit of sine x divided by x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 therefore if we substitute this in this expression we have that 3 multiplied by 1 and this will give me 3 and this is our final answer thank you for watching our video please subscribe to this channel if you have any questions don't hesitate to email us at science at thank you